Alright, so here we are doing yet another knife review from the Cooking Guild. So for those of you that didn't get to my last review, we did Cooking Guild's Kieran Cleaver. Great, absolutely great knife. We've used it a few different times in a couple of our videos now. We're going to be using this later tonight for some of these fish that I've caught uh, for the next episode, which is going to be the gray angel fish versus the gray trigger fish. Uh, both we caught here in the, in the uh, Atlantic. Um, we caught the gray trigger fish right outside of Sunny Isles, and we caught the, the angel closer down by the Florida Bay. So, first of all, though, let's check out this new fillet knife. This is going to be their Bushcraft fillet. Um, now, Feel free to go to the Cooking Guild website and purchase these knives. Um, watch both reviews, see if you uh, if it's exactly what you're looking for. I know both of these are going to have phenomenal utility, especially in this um, Kira Cleaver. Um, we're about to find out what's up with this with this uh, Bushcraft fillet knife. So let's get into this uh, fillet knife. That way I can see what tools I'm going to be working with today. All right. Well. This one comes with a reinforced leather case. All right. Always be very careful with these knives coming out of the box. Initially, they're usually razor sharp. So as I look here, it looks like a very common rosewood handle that they like to use in a lot of their bushcraft knives. Seven inch fillet, flex pool, hardness scale about five. See uh, how quickly it cuts for a piece of paper. You know, we always like to do our paper test. Kind of gives us an idea of what we're dealing with right out of the box. As you can see, it's nice and sharp. No doubt about that. If I can tool a little design, you know it's sharp enough. Alright, so. With that said, I'm going to give this a quick wash, I'm going to treat it with soy oil like I do with all my knives, and then we're going to show you guys how it processes through this trigger fish, um, the angel fish, I'm going to scale, and I'm going to dispatch off camera, and then we're going to create our groove lines, because this one we're actually going to keep in chunk, and we're going to treat it more like, uh, almost like a pork, because the meat is going to be a little more dense, but you'll see that as I process it. Uh, more importantly, stay tuned for the next video where you're going to see a variety of different things that we make in that episode. It's going to be yet another beautiful plate. So prepare for that. In the meantime, let's see what this blade knife can do. All right, so now we've dispatched and we've descaled our angelfish. Um, now, it takes a lot of work to descale on these angelfish. They've got a ton of super hard, small embedded scales. So it takes a little bit more time than your standard fish. Um, but that's all the way you're going to be able to cut through because the bones of this angelfish are really thick. It's more like pork bones. It's more like uh, animal bones than it is like fish. So you'll see as we get into it. What we're going to do next is outline where we want to cut it into sections. And we'll use our Kieran cleaver to chop through it, portion it, and get it in the bowl. We're going to season it and set that to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and process this um, trigger fish. And uh, afterwards, again, this is a test now at this point to see how well our filet knife from the cooking guild actually does. So let's get the process. Now we're going to fillet our trigger fish. Um, the trigger fish is going to be super easy. We're going to do a standard fillet. 
We're just gonna outline it, cut the meat off, take it off the skin. Again, I'm gonna be using this for our next episode, episode eight, and uh, we're gonna be doing a French style uh, fry to it. So you'll see in the next episode. But let's continue using this blend I have so far. It's been incredibly sharp and super uh, effective. You can buy those gloves on Amazon, they cost 30 bucks and they're essentially butcher's gloves and that way if your knife slips it won't cut through you. Um, it you know, stays on top of the glove. Uh, but they're not our sponsors so we're not going to push them but you know, if you guys are playing with you know, super sharp knives and you have some more difficult proteins that you're cutting through, for example like this angelfish, it's smart to have something that's going to protect yourself. So now, as you can see we've got two beautiful fillets for the trigger fish. We've got five really nice pieces of that angelfish, beautiful white meat. We just give it a real quick rinse with some salt water. And between this Kieran cleaver and this bushcraft fillet, it was all the tools we need. You know, I have my bone scissors just in case we threw some of those tough spine bones. But all this equipment is extraordinarily sharp. We're really excited for our next video. Um, go to my link down below. Follow it to the Cooking Guild website. By using my link, you get 20% off your gear. So go check him out, guys. This is super high quality stuff. You are not going to be disappointed. In the meantime, stay tuned for our next video, episode eight, Great Angel versus Great Trigger. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be super delicious. We're going to show you guys a few different new techniques. And, uh, you know, we're just really excited. I'm really excited to try this angel fish and try this trigger. Compare the two because, you know, you can, you know, when you, you'll see here in the video, but if you can see it like in, in your hand right now, the meat of this angel fish is, is thick and dense, almost like, it's a um, like a shark meat a little bit, and then the trigger fish is super succulent and soft, almost like a grouper meat. So I'm really excited to get into these two, do some nice comparisons, eat some phenomenal food. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click on that button. Give me as many thumbs up as you possibly can, and uh, stay tuned to the next episode. Thanks, guys.